A couple years ago, I did a video on the MF slab titled something like quick, it's kind of a tongue twister, quick, tweak, quick, quick tweaks for cheaper dogs and clamps. And anyway, in the past couple years, I have abandoned pretty much all of that advice that I gave you then. So I feel like an update is in order, in particular, a three part mini series on uh, things I've learned about the MF slab since that video. So in this first video, I'll give an overview of the MF slab for those who are not familiar with it. And I'll do some rebuttals of my previous advice, features of it that I like, and a few things I really dislike. The second video will be all about clamps, making clamps, custom clamps, all about clamps for the MF slab. The third video will be all about dogs for the MF slab. But this video is about the uh, nonsense of the previous video, and I just want to set thing is straight now that I've used this thing for a couple years. Now, if you're not familiar with the MF slab, it's basically a chunk of MDF. There are 20 millimeter holes precisely routed with a CNC router on a 96 millimeter grid. And it's typically used as a portable sort of workbench. I mounted this to a base and have it as my table saw out view table. So to get one of these, you don't just buy it from Amazon or whatever. You buy the file from multifunctionslab.com, cost a few bucks. Take that to somebody who has a router, CNC router, large enough to do this. So in this case, I found a cabinet shop locally that had a very large CNC machine, paid them a hundred bucks, and they gave me this, what you see here. Let's go ahead and start with the rebuttals. In the previous video, I showed you how to make three quarter inch dogs fit the 20 millimeter holes by using some anti-friction tape. So you can use the dogs you already have or dogs that are cheap to find online instead of buying the super expensive Veritas bench dogs that are already 20 millimeters. I call them yuppie puppies. As you can see, I did end up buying these and I do use them sometimes. I'll get into that in the dog video, but I never use these anymore. Instead, I use 3D printed dogs. The Dogs are very precise. There's no wiggle room. They're very strong. I mean, they're not as strong as this, but anyway, I'll get into this all in the dog video. But the point is, yeah, I don't use these anymore. Now I use 3D printed dogs for all kinds of purposes. And that deserves its own video. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to click the button that will let you know when that video comes out. Rebuttal number two is about the clamps. In the previous video, I showed you a technique I found online to bend the end of one of these quick clamps to then do this. And right here you see what I found to be annoying about these clamps is that as a one-handed operation sort of clamp, it takes a while to get the clamping part down. But generally I don't like to use two hands while clamping things. So I don't use those anymore. And that led me onto a little excursion. I found this drill press clamp to be promising. Then I chopped up a welding clamp and mounted a post to it, which is pretty cool. Works like that, super strong, super quick, um, has some downsides. And then moved on to a solution I found online that uses these Harbor Freight bar clamps and there's a bolt welded to the bottom of it. But I'll go ahead and save these for the video that's specific to clamping on the MF slab. Number one, I wish that I routed these recesses deeper so that quarter inch bolts didn't protrude above the surface. Number two, when I installed this vise, I had to cover underneath these clamping areas here, which worked out fine. Now I have the deep recesses I wanted. In fact, they're even deeper and perfect for the bench dogs. Number three, this slot here is designed to fit the Festool vac hose or dust extractor hose. And I expanded it in the last video to be able to hold the Bosch hose, but that's kind of in the way for the outfeed table. So I just shoved that on top of the vacuum and that works for me. Number four, I very rarely use these slots for clamping like they're intended to be used for clamping, but I do find them really useful for mounting these deep reach clamps like that. And in fact, I wish there was one over here. I'll go ahead and just route one one of these days. Number five, I don't have a great spot in this garage to tear down a full sheet of plywood with a circular saw. So I store these underneath little dowels that are smaller than 20 millimeters to 
put three of those across like that, the dowels keep these little risers in place and act as a nice sacrificial surface above the MF slab and the table saw. All right, major annoyances. Not minor, these are major ones that should make you think twice or three times before installing an MF slab. Number one, the holes are super annoying for dealing with small parts. I so frequently dealing with some sort of small parts and I knock it down through the hole and then I'm digging up the part down in this area here. If I remember, I'll take some sort of a board like this and at least set it underneath like so to catch the items I'm gonna drop. But I usually don't remember to do that and end up dropping parts through. And yeah, I'm just gonna go get another part out of here. Let's put this thing together. Uh, first, I dropped something through the hole because I don't feel like going on a scavenger hunt each time I drop something through these holes because I drop something very frequently. Major annoyance number two is I really miss my sacrificial work surface. With my old workbench, it was just a couple pieces of OSB with a piece of plywood on top of it. Really thick, really sturdy. I drill straight into it and didn't care. It's been really frustrating to not have that super sacrificial surface right here on my island. So I'm starting to just keep little scraps around like that. Little things I can drill into. Over here I have this top layer I'm letting myself drill into, but it's still not as convenient as having a nice beater sort of surface as my work island. And the last annoyance, it's kind of minor actually, is this corner here. The other corners don't bother me, but this corner is at the wrong height for frequently passing by it on the way from there to there. So maybe I'm just gonna fix it now. How about that? I'll do that. Now I have half inch and one inch corner radius templates built into the MF slab. Actually, 